Hey guys, so after unboxing the Infinix Note 7 Lite some days ago, I decided to make it my daily driver and my primary phone and I've used it for a little over a week now and in this video I've come up with things I like and things I don't like about this phone. I'll be testing out its camera capabilities as well as its performance and value for money. Especially when you compare this phone to other phones or devices in this price segment or in this spec segment. Be sure to check out my unboxing video of the Infinix Note 7 Lite which I did sometime last week. I'll leave the link up here somewhere here in the cast section above. What's up guys, it's Victor here again and in this video we are going to be taking an in-depth look and a comprehensive and extensive look on the Infinix Note 7 Lite. I'll leave timestamps of this video in the comment section as well as in the description section of this video so you can just go straight to the point that interests you the more, the point where you want to get quick information about. And guys, thank you so much for 3,000 of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm so grateful. I'm currently on my way to 4,000 and it will be very, very great if you just click the subscribe button just below this video. And also, toggle on the post notification bell icon so that you'll be notified the next time and every other time I post new videos like this one. The Infinix Note 7 Lite impresses not only with a stunning new look but with a larger 5000mAh battery capacity. On the screen right now are some important specs of the Infinix Note 7 Lite. You can take a look at it as we move forward to some important matters which I didn't cover in an earlier video. The Infinix Note 7 and Note 7 Lite are supposedly cheap smartphones but their design is exactly the opposite. A stunning shiny but plastic goodness and a paint job intended to impress. The Infinix Note 7 Lite comes in three colors, space gray, violet, and bush green. Forest green. The forest green color I have here is very, very catchy, all right? The plastic is so well polished that it looks and feels like glass, and it's as reflective as glass too. The piece is bent towards the frame at all sides, and the shade of green goes darker there, making for an even stunning look. But just like any recent Techno smartphone, the Infinix Note 7 Lite has a conventional build, the front is protected by glass, not Gorilla glass. There is a plastic frame with a glossy finish and the back not only looks but feels like glass. But it's actually plastic with a glossy finish. The Infinix Note 7 Lite has a tri-card slot on its left side while the power and volume buttons are on the right side. The bottom of the Infinix Note 7 Lite contains the audio jack, the dated micro USB port, the mouthpiece and the speaker grill. There is a massive camera hump on the back that looks like a Galaxy S20 device. So some people saw me holding this device and were like, huh? You have a Galaxy S20 device? And I was like, yes, I got a low budget Galaxy S20 device. The camera hump contains the 2 megapixel Quill VGA low light sensor, which in my opinion is a gimmick because there is no super night mode on here. Following the QVGA lens is the 2 megapixel depth sensor and the 48 megapixel primary camera a 2 megapixel macro camera and a quad LED flashlight. Omnipa! The whole camera setup protrudes quite a bit and the Note 7 Lite will wobble a lot when left on the desktop table. If you use the provided case, that will take care of the wobbling. At the back, you have some Infinix branding that feels like a paint was just used to write those things onto it. And as expected in a shiny device like this one, it's a fingerprint magnet. There is also a side-mounted fingerprint reader right on the power button, which is of excellent quality in my own opinion. But sadly, the placement isn't right and the sensor is always on. You always accidentally touch the sensor and the sensor will accidentally touch other things in your phone, especially affecting YouTube video playback experience. The 6.6 inch sponge hole screen is probably the first thing anyone will notice and apart from the fact that it is a low-rex 720p display, it's quite good. Consequently, YouTube contents are capped at 720p, so therefore, there is no way to enjoy any full HD or 1080 goodness on this guy. The display is bright enough for usage under sunlight, not too bright, but bright enough. And all of the bezels except the bottom bezels are quite trimmed. The corners of the device as well as the screen is nicely rounded, making it a comfort to hold. The colors of the screen seem pretty punchy and captivating. The earpiece is edged out on top of the screen and it's so thin that it's almost invisible. There is also a dual LED flashlight embedded around the left part of the top bezel that also doubles as a notification light, especially when you are charging the device. The Infinix Note 7 Lite is powered by a 5000mAh battery. It supports 10 watts charging and the provided 5V 2A adapter refills about 30% of the phone's depleted battery in one hour. That is pretty slow in my own opinion. The battery inside this phone performs relatively well. The phone lasted for a full day with moderate to heavy usage patterns. I must tell you, the battery on here is good. 
you will use it and you will forget to charge this phone. The Infinix Note 7 Lite has a single loudspeaker firing down from the bottom with an average performance. It's lacking in low frequency but handles vocals nicely, but it's easily not adequate for its price. I mean, this phone costs more than $200. But thankfully, the DTS optimizer in here makes things a lot better. And because this phone has a mono speaker setup, unlike the stereo arrangements on the standard Note 7, sound will suffer a lot when you hold your device in a gaming position. The EIP sound is not very loud as I had issues hearing what the other party was saying during a phone call even when the phone is on the loudspeaker. The Infinix Note 7 Lite boots XOS 6.1 which is actually a proprietary launcher running on top of the latest Android 10. It is heavily skinned with lots of customization options and comes with a lot of pre-installed third-party apps and Bluetooth. This is probably part of an advertising deal made to lower the Note 7 and Note 7 Lite price. Multitasking on this guy is a breeze as the tax switcher allows for split screen mode. There are a ton of useful settings such as battery saving options, theme, smart panel, social to boot, gesture and so many other features. The side panel is turned on by default and it's a floating app with frequently used apps for easy access. You can move the smart panel anywhere, anytime. Even this provides its own gallery, weather, files, FMN radio apps. For music purposes, there is Boomplay which belongs to Transition Holdings the proprietor of Infinix Mobility. There's also YouTube Music, but you can install any player from the Play Store. Something I found helpful is the built-in WhatsApp mode intended to save battery life and data. This mode when turned on will allow only WhatsApp to use data in the background, so that as soon as you close other apps, they will stop using your data and battery except for WhatsApp. Another nifty feature of this software is the floating messages when you are playing games. So instead of WhatsApp message notification boxes distracting you while playing games, it will just float across the screen, allowing you to glance through the message without leaving your game. However, something to rant about is the fact that you can't uninstall some Bluetooth apps pre-installed. Apps like YouTube Music and YouTube can't be uninstalled, but you can hide any app by disabling them from the settings app. Although you won't see the disabled app in the app drawer, but the disabled app is still taking up precious space secretly. Something else that is very annoying is the presence of multiple apps doing the same job. For instance, there is a files by Google installed alongside the files manager by Infinix, both of which you cannot uninstall. There is also Google Chrome and Fiona's browser, both of which you must not uninstall. There is a dark mode that works well and I like Infinix implementation of the dark mode, except for the fact that there is no dark mode scheduling option that will automatically set the phone dark when night comes and go back to the light mode when it is day. To be honest, I am not a fan of XOS as I find it overwhelming with so many unnecessary things and underwhelming with so many necessary things missing. I notice the transitions and animation on XOS end abruptly or I would like to think that the animations aren't complete. So I recommend downloading a third party launcher like Nova Launcher and customizing it to your style. The Infinix Note 7 Lite is powered by the Helio P22 chip by MediaTek. Even though it's supposed to be far from impressive. I am unfortunately impressed by the performance of the Infinix Note 7 Lite. The Helio P22 manufactured on a 12 nanometer process has proved to be a decent chip and it gets the job done. The Note 7 Lite comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB internal storage. Well, on the positive note, the Infinix Note 7 Lite runs quite cool. It handles videos very well and unless it's gaming, you will have no problem with the Note 7 Lite heating up. Gaming is very possible and apart from some hitches and stutters here and there, everything works fine. More about gaming in a later game test video. The Infinix Note 7 Lite has a quad camera setup on the back. And why that is physically true? Spiritually, you are only able to use only two of the snappers behind. That's the main camera, the 48 megapixel and the 2 megapixel macro lens. The second snapper is a 2 megapixel depth sensor and then there is a 2 megapixel QVGA sensor which until now, I have not been able to use as there is no super night option on the Infinix Note 7 Lite. However, you will find the option on the standard Note 7. And there is no image and video stabilizer on the Note 7 Lite but you will find it on the standard Note 7. The daylight rear camera photos turned out pretty good with a decent amount of details and accurate colors. The contrast is very good as well as the dynamic range. Overall, I would say the Infinix Note 7 Lite does an excellent job for its price range. The phone can do 48 megapixel shots too if you turn on the option. It produces a more detailed photo when on 48 megapixel mode. The low light rear camera photos I snapped with the Infinix Note 7 Lite turned out great for this class, but only when you have the flashlight turned on. With good color saturation and the detail is quiet enough even if some gets destroyed by the aggressive noise reduction. 
The macro camera too is impressive. It took some real macro shots which I like. The 2 megapixel depth sensor seems to be utilized well. The portrait photos I snapped are great with sufficient subject separation and convincing enough blur. And you can even change or simulate different aperture sizes. How nice. Finally, I'm not sure how the phone uses the QVGA lens, but since I am somewhat happy with the photos I got, I won't press charges. Up front, the Infinix 7 Lite has an 8 megapixel selfie camera in a punch hole cycle. The selfies are far from impressive, poor details and very poor dynamic range as you can see in these pictures. Portrait mode is also available on the selfie camera, but it's not as good as the main one behind, primarily because it uses an AI depth sensing technology. There is also an AR short mode and wide selfie mode that can contain more people in a single selfie. Something I like so much and enjoy seeing is the light animation around the selfie camera cutouts when you switch to the selfie camera mode. The Infinix Note 7 Lite captures video up to 1080p at 30fps both on the front and the back. There is no stabilization available whatsoever even though there is stabilization in the standard Infinix Note 7. Here are samples of videos captured by the rear and front camera. So this is the video coming out from the rear camera of the Infinix Note 7 Lite. There is no form of stabilization whatsoever on this one but there is stabilization on the standard Infinix Note 7. Selfie camera video sample from the Infinix Note 7 Lite. How is it looking guys and how am I looking too? How is the dynamic range? The Infinix Note 7 Lite is priced at 68,000 Nigerian Nairas in Naira. Even though it was expected to launch at around 55,000 Nigerian Nairas. In conclusion and as a matter of fact, here are the things I like about the Infinix Note 7 Lite. The large punch hole screen with excellent contrast, it has an eye-catchy design, it has a very great battery life, the WhatsApp mode is so useful, the floating WhatsApp messages keep me undistracted from my gameplay while glancing through messages coming to my phone, the fingerprint sensor is secure and nice, good daylight photos and this phone is Android 10 based. About the cons of this phone, I hate the fact that the charging speed is so sluggish. It has a dated micro USB port, relatively low maximum screen brightness, XOS 6 is filled with ads and bloats, which can be disabled though. Low budget surface, not so great speakers, low quality phone call and no camera stabilization. So, the Infinix Note 7 Lite is one beautifully crafted phone. Easily likeable, especially from the outside. And about the question whether you should buy it or not. Yes, by all means. Oh yes. I like the fact that it's a very very sleek phone. It's shiny, it's beautiful, it's elegant and it feels comfortable to hold. Like, it's sleek. Sleek, it feels like a premium phone. Guys, I know this is a very, very unusually long video, unlike me, unlike what I usually put up on this channel. But I hope this content will help someone make a very good purchase decision. Like this video, comment, share it so that more people in this life can see what you've just seen. Subscribe if you've not. Again, I'm on my way to 4000 and I'm wishing you help me get there in record time. Also check out any one of my other videos on the screen right now. And um, thank you guys for watching this one. I'll see you when I see you in the next one. Peace.